I'm Lindsay Pugh. Veronica Kirshner. We both talk. Coach, I want to start with you. Obviously, a, a five-set match, a thriller out there that could have gone either way. W was there any little things you thought you saw by the end where you thought maybe that was the reason why it didn't swing your way in the end? I think there were a, a lot of little things um, that we could have done a little bit better with, but you can't, can't take it away from Stevens. They played great ball. You know, we, uh, we executed a pretty good game plan against what they had, uh, and they served receive phenomenal. You know, they, couldn't, they couldn't make an error. Uh, when they're in system all the time and we're playing defense quite a bit, it's tough to get past uh, that. But uh, you know, I think they just did a, they did a great job. And Lindsay, you had a, a, another big game getting the ball out to your hitters. You know, what did you see from your offense, especially in that second set, being able to rebound? Because they kind of dominated you guys in the first set and you guys came right back and evened it up. I mean, one of the... Uh... One of the key things that we, we use on our team is tempo, and we didn't really run that in the first set, but once we got our passes up, we started running more tempo, and I was spreading the ball across a little bit more, and, and that really um, took Stevens off, off their uh, toes. They were a little bit on their heels, and so um, that really got us ahead a little bit, and then um, we just finished at the end. And Veronica, they, they had 20 blocks as a team, you know, as a hitter out there. What did you see on the court that was making it a little bit difficult for you guys? Um, and, and what made their blocking so good that they gave you guys problems? Like Lindsay said, with tempo, tempo's how we, how we run our offense. And if we run tempo, then that's how we usually get our single blocks. And that's how we usually get our points. So if we, the, when we weren't able to run tempo, that's what really hurt us with the blocking. And anyone can answer this one. I mean, obviously it's tough to go out with a loss, but there was a lot of energy in that gym for a neutral site game for both teams. What was it like to play in a match like that down to the wire with, with two good groups of fans and good groups of teams that were bringing a lot of energy? It's absolutely crazy. I mean, it's insane. It's, it's really hard to keep our cool and to be focused when there's that many people in the gym yelling that many things. And um, it's, it's an amazing experience because you don't get that in regular season games. So it was really cool. And we're honestly pretty used to it. Um, we have our parents and our families are really amazing. They travel really far. They travel to Georgia to watch us play. They travel everywhere to watch us play. So it's really awesome. And I'll go off of that. Um, not just this match. It's just been our season. And I think they've been our seventh person. Uh, they've been at all of our matches. The parents, the family, the alumni. Uh, we get a really good following. It just doesn't matter where in the country we go. Um, so we're used to playing with that, uh, that energy, and I think our kids feed off of that, that quite a bit. It helps. Coach, I know it's, it's tough to end the season like that with a five-set loss, but, but looking back on it, you guys get your first NCAA tournament win. You get to the tournament, one of the best seasons ever for Susquehanna. How, how do you look back on this season? Though? Well, you know, I'm, I'm one of every coach but one that's sitting in this chair by the end of the season. So we all walk out with a, with a loss. And then we all get to reflect back. Um, and right before I came up here, I asked these two, regrets? And they said, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, so what, what were the highlights? Well, we, we had a lot of highlights. Um, and, and you spoke about a couple of them. Uh, what, I, what I like is being able to take a ride with these young women uh, and, and what a ride they gave us. Uh, to get as far as we've gotten, uh, the energy, the culture, uh, everything that they are. And they're going to get out of here, um, not professional volleyball players, I don't think. Maybe, maybe you. Who knows? Yeah. No, no not, not going for it? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> uh, but they're going to be great in the fields of, of their choice. And uh, you know, that quiet warrior over there wants to go work for the CDC. So she's got to be cool under pressure, and she's uh, really got a, a good taste of that. And Veronica's going to go do math stuff, right? Yeah. I'm going to be a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she's got to deal with a lot of. Uh, a lot, a lot worse things uh, than having to battle in a five-set uh, regional match. Um, it's good. It's been a great experience. A lot of these kids. Quick question for the two players. You know, a lot of times, uh, you know, you're going to leave this program probably in a little better shape than when you, when you got there. Not, not that it was a bad program, but how do you feel as seniors going out, knowing that you know you you, you got this program to a, to a place you know really hadn't been before, and uh, you know you left it in a better place than it was. It feels amazing. Um, I mean, I feel like as if our alumni really set that standard for us and we fulfilled that standard uh, th through our four years here and we just expect the next coming years that they keep that going. Yeah, that was our goal coming in as freshmen. I mean, we knew that we were trying to build a program and I say we, I mean all of the alumni from past years, you know, 10 years back, not just the ones that were there when we were there. Mm -hmm. And the coaches, and they were trying to build this amazing program. and 
we just wanted to push it further. So we, we didn't have, our end goal in mind was to win the national championship because we wanted to shoot as far as we possibly could. So our standard is now making the NCAA tournament and I think that's a good place to be. Thanks guys, congrats on a great Thank season. You Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.